Hi, I'm Alex McCrickard, and this is the fishing report for the month of May in Virginia. In this month's report, we head down to the Stanton River in Campbell County, and we'll show you how to rig and fish a swim bait. Swim baits can be used to catch a variety of different species, including walleye, which can be found on the Stanton River below Leesville Dam. We'll also tell you why walleye tend to be low light oriented species as they feed well on cloudy days or again at dawn or dusk. We'll also share with you a recent state record fish in addition to a local catch from the Stanton River that was submitted through our angler recognition program. I'd like to take a moment to congratulate lucky angler Jerry Hall for catching the new state record fall fish. Jerry's fall fish weighed three pounds, five ounces, and was caught on the Cow Pasture River fishing a Joe's fly. This is the second state record fall fish that has been caught and now replaces David Legg's two pound, eight ounce record set earlier in 2020. Congratulations on an incredible catch, Jerry. Also, a big congratulations goes to Leanne Hain for catching this beautiful 21 and a half inch Citation smallmouth bass from the Stanton River in Campbell County. Leanne recently submitted this Citation fish through our new online angler recognition program. If you're interested in having one of your fish featured in a future fishing report, email us at social at dwr.virginia.gov. If you enjoy fishing artificial lures, swim baits need to be in your tackle box. Swim baits are a really versatile bait and they can be used to catch fish in a variety of different situations, whether you're fishing in lake or a reservoir, or if you're fishing in a river system. Swim baits imitate forage fish and can be used to catch a variety of different species such as largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, pickerel, perch, stripers, and even walleye. They come in a variety of different colors and sizes and can be matched to a variety of different weighted jig heads to suit the fishing conditions you are facing. So today on the Stanton out here, we've been having some success throwing some swim baits. Um, and I've been throwing, this is just a um, white and silver swim bait, which stands out pretty well. The water's got a little bit of a stain to it, um, but this, this swim bait stands out pretty well. Um, and I'm just putting on a, uh, an eighth ounce uh, jig head here. One thing to think about when you're putting um, swim bait on a jig head is the jig head actually in the water is gonna ride upside down like this. So you want the swim bait riding, you know, with the dark, darker back on top and the lighter belly on the underside. You want to mimic that natural counter shading that you'll see. So when I go to put the swim bait on, I'm going to keep that in mind by keeping the jig head facing downwards because I know I want the point of the jig head to go through the body so that the jig head rides upwards and that swim bait's right on there. And as you're swimming this through the water, this tail is going to naturally give you a lot of movement, mimic a uh, smaller forage fish, but it's also good to kind of give it a pop. And really what I've been doing out here today, casting out into some of these deeper uh, trophy, trophy water here above some of the riffles. And uh, again, this is just a uh, medium action, um, uh, six and a half foot uh, spinning rod here and eight pound test line. And what I'm doing is I'm just launching some casts out kind of quartering upstream, letting it sink down. And I'm just doing a light retrieve. And as I retrieve, I'm giving it a little light pop, just like that. And a lot of times that pop is making that jig swim erratically. So it's moving upwards and downwards. And it's really gonna kind of mimic that erratic movement of an injured forage fish and trigger that walleye or that bass or that striper to, to pounce on that lure. And a lot of the fish today have been hitting it on the fall. So you'll, you'll bump it up and as it falls, you'll, you'll feel that, that strike. We've been getting some short strikes today. Some of the fish have been a little bit finicky, um, but we've had a couple fish absolutely inhale it. But again, I'm just letting it sink, doing a little light reel, and I'm just kind of popping it. And I want that swim bait down near the bottom um, so I can be you know, close to where the fish are, but without getting snagged on the bottom. So it's, it's kind of that perfect level you gotta find. As you learn to fish with a swim bait, it can be essential to vary your retrieve speed based upon water temperature and depth. Sometimes the fish will react better to a slower presentation, especially in colder water. On the Stanton River, we found a few walleye on a light colored white and silver swim bait. Let me pop this. You can see he ate that zoom fluke and hailed it. Let's see if I can't pop that out. One thing that's neat about walleye is that their eye, they're oftentimes called um, marble eyes or um, glass eyes, but their eyes have a reflective layer of pigment that actually allows them to gather a lot of light. 
This gives the walleye an advantage in low light conditions. Um, so from a, an angling perspective, sure, you can catch them in the middle of the day like this, but it can also be beneficial uh, to fish at dawn or dusk or on cloudy, rainy days. But uh, this is a nice little walleye here. Let this guy go. Hey, bring him over this way. Cool. All right. Thanks for tuning in to this month's fishing report. Please comment below. Let us know what questions you have about fishing swim baits. We'll be happy to answer them. Also, don't forget to click subscribe to our YouTube page so that you can see future fishing reports. Stay tuned. We'll be uh, releasing a float fish in the Stanton River video later in the month of June, which will give you more detail about this unique fishery. And also, remember, the outdoors are better together. Consider participating in our Refer a Friend program. Uh, and consider taking someone fishing with you the next time you go fishing. You'll both receive a free 30-day membership to the Fish Brain app. You can learn more at the link below. We'll see you on the water.